Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to enumerate NFS, how to essentially enumerate users, how to perform Azure posting attacks, and plenty more. I really think this video is going to be useful to you, especially if you're on your way to do the OCP. So sit back, relax, and please enjoy the video. I see that NFS is open. And uh, so instead of going into my notes, like uh, you can Google around floors, peachy cheats, uh, and then do something like this, some basic dorking. And then you are able to see that people are doing stuff related to NFS right there. And we can take a look at this methodology. Another tool that I really recommend is Actrix. So yeah, if you had no notes at all, I would always just look at walkthroughs of this machine if you've never done it before and you have no idea what to do. You can dork around. Like I've shown you. So let's see. Let's say I wanted to know how to do anything related to NFS and, or, and I know absolutely nothing. We can try this. Let's say I know absolutely nothing, right? Then I would just try something like this. Or IPs like this. And then let's use it in verbose mode. And then there's also something called show mount. So this one found no usernames, unfortunately. So what did it say? Show mount dash E and then the IP right. So let's try that. And we can actually see that we can see this. So Okay, that's it that this uh, thing had, not a lot, but I found a site, it's called bookhacktricks.wiki and uh, it is very good. So let's say... There we go, port to 1049. To the port. So let's see if it has some methodology for it. Again, I'm just giving you some general resources, right? Because if you don't have your own cheat sheet, you haven't built it up, I'm just showing you kind of like some ways you can find it. So, so here are some useful NMAP scripts we could use. Metasploit. Show mounting. Okay. So then we found the users and then we could mount this. To, um, to our drive. So let's try that. Let's try to make uh, this. Let's say we call it. Uh, we call it user test. Doesn't really matter. And then we want to try this command right here. Again, let's say I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. We just test it. So, but instead of backup right there, we found uh, we found users. So let's try that. And then we mount it to user's test. Didn't like that. Okay. So then let's try without this. And then let's see if that actually worked. So now we do this. Oh, and there we go. So we actually cook and mounted a NFS uh, file sharing onto our own drive. So let us first cat this and see what we can find. No such file. That's because I didn't take the full path. So we do this. We see that we found a flag. Cool, cool. Let me just redirect that here. Don't really care. And then... Uh, and 
and then hair, right? I would obviously want LibreOffice. So then I would just look up something like it's the LibreOffice Kali. And then look at some articles. Pseudo updates and then run this. Yes, we want to download this. So let's just give it some time to actually do. So then this is getting uh, installed. In any case you're having issues, then uh, you can run app to update, fix messing like this, and just app update in general. In case you're having issues with this, in this install. But then, yeah. I'm just trying to show you some general ways uh, to go about it if you know little and just how you can do basic searching around and it's most of just about doing a lot of machines and creating good notes as you go. That is where you will get most of the value and knowledge. So, I will come back to you when this is uh, fully finished. Alright, so I just googled uh, for a few minutes and uh, I found a tool I had used on the test. So it says AD username generator. And um, yeah, so let's go into it. Cat names. Let's see for example. So it just expects something like this. And uh, let's look at the sample. Okay, yeah, something like that seems uh, like exactly what we want. So, Python 3 username generates, and let's see what it expects. So, it wants a input. So, that would be users. And then let's do output user list. TXT. Generated users. Let's try something like this. <clears throat> okay, so I should remove this. I forgot this one. Let's try again. And let's run this again. There we go. So, this is the generated output. That looks good. So, let's try running this again. Um, generated. That's the right target, and that is also the right domain. So, let's try this. And that looks very, very, very good. All right. So, now we have something to work with. So, essentially... It found uh, several targets that was valid uh, usernames in this uh, Active Directory domain. But it found one user. This is the same one, just a slightly different capitalization. Uh, T. Williams, that has pre authentication disabled it has no pre-auth required and because of that we're able to do dump a Azure roast Azure at the hash using Azure roasting so again I don't prefer this particular hash type because of the 18 this is just a habit but I prefer using the uh, the impact tool for this so Azure roast it's called the get NPU user So, what we need is the domain, the IP of the domain controller. We need the usernames that we will feed it. In this case, it is generated usernames. Format can, format can be that. 
Actually, let's just remove this, I think. I think this should be fine. So now it's trying all of the users that we have fed it. There we go. There we have it for T. Williams. And as you can see, this is the 23 hash. I just prefer this particular hash. So this looks good. Let us try to crack this. So uh, get it. Astro hash, like so. I also like to use a tool, as I've shown you before, called Haiti, to try to identify it. And it actually doesn't identify the hash type. So we will be using the, the Astro Pash. And we can use the um, format equals here be 5 Astro. Let's try to crack this using this word list. And there we go. We have a valid credential set. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video, but once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.